Also tonight, death row inmate Richard Glossop is one step closer to being executed. Glossop was convicted of the murder for hire of Barry Van Trees back in 1997. Today, the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals denied one of his appeals. News 4's Kai Torque heard from the Attorney General and advocates for Glossop after that decision came down. Kai Tor. While Glossop's attorney hopes a second appeal will gain favor with the Court of Criminal Appeals, he calls the rejection of the first one, quote, difficult to understand. So when John O'Connor or the court system comes back and says, there's no evidence, there's no new evidence, there's nothing that's changed. That's not true. Advocates of death row inmate Richard Glossop taking a blow to their fight to keep him alive. Their first of two appeals for an evidentiary hearing to consider new evidence of his innocence was denied by the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals today, rejecting the petition of Glossop's, quote, factual innocence. Very disappointed in uh, the response, very disappointed in the decision. Glossop was convicted of the murder for hire of Barry Van Treese back in 1997. Justin Sneed was convicted of beating Van Treese with a baseball bat at an Oklahoma City motel that Van Treese owned. Sneed got life in prison and testified that Glossop paid him to commit the murder. Oklahoma State Rep Justin Humphrey, vocal about the independent investigation that reports flawed interrogations, lack of crime scene logs, and missing evidence. Uh, these are all pretty serious accusations that were made by this independent uh, investigation group, and I would, I would think that would warrant uh, a, to stop and rehear this case. In a statement, Glossop's attorney Don Knight called the decision difficult to understand, adding, quote, the state's misconduct is overwhelming and deserving of, at the very minimum, a fair hearing where we can present our evidence. Outgoing Attorney General John O'Connor released his own statement, saying in part, Glossop failed to show that he is innocent of the murder. Now, we'll be sure to keep you posted on the second pending appeal. In the meantime, Glossop is set to be executed on February 16th of next year. Well,